Hi, I'm Trevor. I'm a fan training specialist. And now that Tennessee is good at football again, I'm gonna teach you how to retrain that Tennessee volunteer fan in your life to actually enjoy college football season. It's important to remember that with Tennessee fans, we're dealing with 10 to 12 years of reinforced negative behavior patterns. It's not their fault that they get up and leave the house in the middle of a game where they're up 15 points in the second quarter. This is just residual behavior left over from the Derek Dooley years. Just use your training clicker and firmly say, uh -uh. Stay, have your treat pouch on you at all times, and then shower him with positive reinforcement in the form of SEC Championship game tickets when he returns to his seat. Practice and consistency is the name of the game here. Ah, you're up by 28 points. Drop it. It's also so important to socialize your volunteer fan. If left to their own devices, they resort back to wallowing in isolation and frustration. Find another Tennessee fan in your neighborhood and set up a meet and greet. Make sure you slowly introduce them at first, but then watch the sparks fly. You catch that game this weekend? Yeah, yeah. You uh, see all those LSU fans leave in the middle of the third quarter? Yeah. Our office is clicking right now. Yes! I forgot what it's like to have a quarterback who completes passes to his own receivers! Me too! Now, another important part of this process is re-establishing encounters with rival fans. This used to be a harrowing experience which would cause our Tennessee fan undue stress and anxiety. Now, simply show him highlight clips of Hendon Hooker dropping absolute dimes on deep balls to get his confidence up before these encounters. You were just a terrible goal line play call away from driving an SEC game to a middle of the road Texas A&M team. <laughs> game day coming to Knoxville. I know you're going to be. Now, occasionally, you may run across a Tennessee Volunteer fan that continues to spew negativity in spite of all these tricks we've just learned. Man, I'm telling you, if we hadn't blown that zone assignment in the end zone, we would have won 40 to six instead of 40 to 13. We are not. <laughs> what is wrong with you? They're fun, they're well coached, they're fast. Enjoy this. But they blew the coverage on the <laughs> This episode was brought to you by Renaissance Bank, understanding you.